what we may see is like this glamorous life, mm -hmm. but what are we not seeing that is actually happening? Um, usually you're not seeing all of the illusions that take place behind the scenes, mm -hmm. like all the Photoshop um, that goes on, you know, mm -hmm. the models look like they have perfect skin. According to the world, they have perfect bodies mm -hmm. and um, that's not the case, you know, I don't have perfect skin, I have acne scars, I have cellulite, but they can just airbrush all that away with the click of a button. And um, then there's the dark side of the eating disorders and the sleazy photographers who are trying to take advantage of young models. Um, when I had first moved to New York, I remember going on a photo shoot and it was at a photographer's apartment. Mm -hmm and he tried to um, kiss me and, and um, push me up against the wall and do things. And luckily I was able to get out of that situation, but unfortunately a lot of girls aren't. Mm -hmm. And that kind of goes along with what's happening right now currently is all the sexual allegations that are taking place against Victoria's Secret. Mm -hmm. Knowing what you know in the background that you've had, would you say that this is definitely something that a lot of models face? Definitely. I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. Like, if I hear stories online, um, I'm not surprised at all that this goes on. Um, when I worked with Victoria's Secret, I was definitely pressured to go on dates with celebrities, even though I was married, um, just because of the status and, and what it looks like in mm -hmm. the tabloids. And um, so there's no value on marriage in um, the industry. And models definitely will do things with um, people who are higher up to advance their career and they get pressured a lot of times into that and so I'm not surprised when I hear stories um, especially when you know the people that are higher up in the industry uh, take advantage and and give the girls alcohol and different things like that when they're underage that happens a lot as well. Mm -hmm. You mentioned you're married and working in this industry what impact did that have on you guys as a married couple? Um, it definitely had a negative impact because mm -hmm. my husband, when we first met, he had never even watched a Victoria's Secret <laughs> fashion show or been in a Victoria's yeah. Secret. Like, he doesn't go shopping. Oh, if you <laughs> saw him, you would know. <laughs> he's, uh, he's not a shopper and he had no idea what Victoria's mm -hmm. Secret was until he met mm -hmm. me. And so it was like he was just immersed into this industry. He didn't know really anything about the modeling world. And so he learned it all through being married to me. And um, I was seeking out attention from other men um, when I was modeling and also posing, you know, in lingerie. Mm -hmm. And so all of those had a negative impact on um, our marriage and the way that I was treating him and, and all of that. How did your husband stand by your side during this time? Or how did you guys end up working that out? He prayed for me the mm -hmm. whole time. So I always tell people that he truly loved me like Christ mm -hmm. loves the church um, because he was not like judging me and um, getting angry with me about these things. He was just really patient and loving and kind through it all. Mm -hmm. And he knew that God would change my heart. And he was just, he knew like he had faith that God would just change my heart and he did. You've been very vocal in your interviews about, you know, Victoria's Secret and just modeling industry in general. Mm -hmm. What is your relationship to Victoria's Secret right now? Uh, there is no <laughs> relationship. When I came out with my book, they actually tried to sue me because of some of the things that I talk about in my book and they didn't want to be exposed of, of certain things. And so we have no relationship at all. Okay. What would you want young women and women in general to take from your personal story? Um, I just really want to expose the truth of the industry because so many women and little girls start comparing themselves to these images that they see or to the lifestyle that they think these models live. Mm -hmm. And that's really where they start, you know, developing eating disorders or thinking that they're not good enough. And I really want them to know that beauty, true beauty comes from inside. Um, you know, focusing on your heart and seeing the values of your heart is way more important than outer beauty which is fleeting and fades away and you can never be good enough for what the world tells you you need to be um, none of us can live up to that standard you know it's always changing but christ never change changes his love for us is unwavering mm -hmm. thank you so much for talking to us i've been so blessed by what you've said and i feel like you're really redefining what beauty is so thank, thank you, you.